So why are these Liberals burying their head in the sand and pretending like the carbon tax is working when Canadians know it isn't? Eight years times zero targets met is still zero. Yeah. And after eight years of that zero government, Canadians know that their environmental record is nothing but hot air and hypocrisy. After eight years of this Liberal government, the Prime Minister's own Environment Commissioner confirmed that he will not meet his targets. He missed 88 per cent of it. Worse, they missed, they missed targets in seven out of the eight years they have been in power. And the only year they hit the targets is when the economy was cut down, shut down for COVID. Still, they insist on punishing Canadians with their carbon tax chaos. So why are these Liberals burying their head in the sand and pretending like the carbon tax is working when Canadians know it isn't. The Honourable Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would invite my colleague to actually watch the proceedings from the Environment Committee this morning, where the, the Commissioner to the Environment and Climate Change said that not only carbon pricing is working, but it's responsible for 30 per cent of the emissions we've seen in Canada over the, over the, since we've, we, we, we took office, Mr. Speaker. Nothing that would have happened under the Conservative Party. They had no plan to fight climate change. They had no plan to develop the economy. They had no plan for renewable energy for clean electricity, for electrification of transportation. That's why Canada is so far lagging behind other countries. We're playing catch up, Mr. Speaker, but thanks to all of our efforts, we're getting there. No thanks to the Conservative Party. Here, here. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Speaker, nobody believes them anymore. They lean on a tax that punishes Canadians that won't meet their own targets. They say no to carbon capture and storage. The Environment Minister himself opposes nuclear. They've delayed uh, approvals to 25 years to mine the minerals we need to get cleaner power. They are tax collectors in 58th place out of 63 countries on climate change. Will they save us the sanctimony? Stop killing clean energy projects and cancel their failed and now selectively applied carbon tax. Whoa. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. As I've said before in this House, people may be entitled to their opinions, but they're not entitled to their own facts. The Commissioner this morning actually said that it is effective and it is working, and so do all of the academic. I don't know where you get your facts, this, this person gets her facts, but, but at the end of the day, the facts are the facts are the facts. The fact is, these folks don't have a plan for climate change, but they also don't have a plan for the economy. In fact, right now in committee, in Natural Resources Committee, they are blocking moving forward with Bill C-49, which is about enabling the development of an offshore wind and a hydrogen pro program in Atlantic Canada, something supported by the Conservative Premier of Nova Scotia and the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. It is bizarre, Mr. Speaker. It's happened on a couple of occasions today, and I'd like to remind all members that to make sure that they direct their comments through the chair and not directly to other members. The Honourable Member from South Shore, St. Margaret's. Eight years times zero targets met is still zero. Yeah. And after eight years of that zero government, Canadians know that their environmental record is nothing but hot air and hypocrisy. The Bay of Fundy can supply green tidal energy to all of Nova Scotia and make us an ex exporter of green energy. Yeah. The only successful project to harness the power of the Bay of Fundy, delivering endless green energy, was killed by these Liberals when they refused to renew the permit. They killed capital investment and tidal power. When does this Prime Minister, why does this Prime Minister claim to support green energy but veto green tidal projects? Oh, yeah. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. You know what is the height of hypocrisy, Mr. Speaker? It's a member of parliament who was elected on a campaign platform that included a price on pollution who now disavows that every day in this House. It's an Atlantic Canadian member of parliament who is actively opposing the development of a major offshore wind and hydrogen project in Nova Scotia in, in direct opposition to the Conservative Premier of his province. That, Mr. Speaker, is the height of hypocrisy. Here, here.